Welcome back to the David Brown 990 Restoration. For those of you new, my name's Barry. Today, we're going to try and pop some tyres, new tyres, onto these painted wheels without counting, without causing any damage. Got my new tubes, got my tyres, got my wheels. I've also got somewhere some liquid soap. Well, now he's known as washing up liquid. I'm going to lube the wheels. Now, the last time I bought these tyres off the internet, and it was a year and a half ago, something like that, a year and a half, two years ago, maybe. And anybody who's bought tyres off the internet knows when they arrive, they're all queer shapes because they've been pushed into parcels and they've been boxes thrown on top of them and all sorts. So I put those tyres on those wheels when they were silver and I inflated them to get them into shape, to keep them in proper shape. Um, one of them I put on with tyre irons, the other one, and I didn't, sorry, one of them I put on with tyre irons and I didn't lube the bead and it took quite a bit of doing. The other one I put on by lubing the bead and it went on by hand. So I'm hoping we're going to repeat that today that this is going to go on by hand. Right, let's get on, see if we can get the tyres on, eh? Well, nice new tyres that's a couple of years old now that were um, they've been sitting in a shed up at the farm. So we'll see if we can. See they're covered in bird poo. Right, let's see if we can get the wheel in without causing too much damage. Hopefully without causing any damage. Hopefully without causing any damage. Right, here's a way. Let's see if we can get this in here. Hold out. Take my paint off it. Look at that, man. Huh? Look at that. Right. Now, next thing. Pop a tube in. Deflate. I've had these blown up, just checking them. But I'm not happy when you take things to bits with tyre irons. I'm always afraid you can nip the tubes. You need to get them back together, don't you? Blow them up and you realise that you've got a problem. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over and we'll put the tube in this side. Done that wrong, haven't I boys? Huh? I should have should have done that one so that I can see where the valve core is, hey? Eh? Where is the valve core? It's opposite that weld it seems so it's there. It's here. More putting on than the tire in it. I think this is why I get our uh, I 
used lube the last time because I was frightened. No, I think. I think this is why I inflated them. Because they're tight like this. And you're always worried with the irons that you've nipped them. Right. That was a pretty good guess, wasn't it? Now, a loop. This will help it slide up the rim as well once we uh, come to try and inflate it. So very nearly there, isn't it? <laughs> very nearly. on let's have a look no damage right 
pop a bit of air into it and get it up onto the rim. back off. Let's put the core in. Okay, one on, with no damage, now that's going to look pretty isn't it, huh? that's going to look pretty, I'm not be able to take it out in the wet though, because it'll get dirty, can't get, it's getting dirty can we? Right, number two. Let's see if we can get number two on. Oops. Number two. There's my cloth. Okay, spot a lube on. Now we want to put, last time I put the valve in first and it worked out better, didn't it? Right, put the 
file them in. Whoa, that's it. That went on nice and easy, didn't it? Put in. That way. Tube in. That's about that. Right. Now, let's get the valve through a hole. What I might do is pop a bit of air into that, just to try and straighten it out inside, make sure there's no kinks or creases in it. I'll take a lot of air to do that. That's it. Right, touch a loop. <sighs> Get my hands a wipe. We'll put the valve piece in first. I'll tie it right down. There we go. Okay. 
but it air. Put my compressor back on for five. Now, I've left my valve Cora, a decora, at home. So I'm just putting these in, reasonable at the minute. I'll have to come back up and obviously make sure the valve cores are in securely. Get these up to 20. I'll just let them sit at 20. And we'll make sure everything's good, wouldn't it? Right. A bit of paper. A little bit of clean up. There we go. There we go. Two wheels, tyres on, inflated to 20 psi. And we'll see if they don't hold pressure, it'll only be the valves. Right. And, what's more important, no damage. No damage to the paint at all. That's fan dabby dozy, isn't it? Um, now, the paint, I can remember, there was a, we thought there was a difference in colour. These look cream. The quadrant looked white. Yet it was exactly, it was out of the same tin. It was all orchid white out of the same tin, sprayed on the same day. The only difference was the quadrant was primed with red oxide and these were primed grey. When I cleaned that, I didn't have a tin of grey primer. Even though I knew it was going to be painted white, I didn't have a tin of grey primer. So I did it in red oxide to stop it rusting. See, it was cleaning it again. See, that's that's leaking in there so it might be that that just needs the core tightening up anyway back my story so that was done red oxide these were done grey that's the only thing i can think of that would alter the shading of the color it's a horrible day outside i haven't had i haven't took them outside today but i will when i go to put these on the tractor we will get them outside and we will 
have a look and see what they're like. Um, right, in the previous video, um, where we fixed up that spare selector body, the rod that controls the fork, the bit that you actually turn on the outside goes down, makes the fork move back and forward. Um, if you have a look at this picture here, if you remember, and I'll put a link to the video here, go back and watch a video of me taking this to pieces. This was broken when I opened it up, it was snapped off. However, when I took it a bit, you could put it back together and you could rotate the two parts and there was a position, and you'll see it in this photograph, where the two fitted together and the bit of broken weld fitted in the hole perfectly, which was as in this picture at seven o'clock, right? Handle up, crank down here at like seven o'clock on the, on the clock face. However, look, as soon as I put that back into the selector body and Rod picked up on this as well in the video, you can see it's in the wrong position. Now, the only thing I can think of is that previously that has been broken. It probably got broken when those internals, the shaft got bent um, and it came off inside. Now, I think the previous owner couldn't be bothered to take it to pieces to repair it. So he's literally popped it back into place. Welded it in situ, which is why it was in the wrong place. Then when he's reassembled it into the fork, he's realised it's been in the wrong place and he's tried to force it to possibly twist the shaft to get it into the correct position. Hence it snapped the poor weld because in the picture, <coughs> that camera's just died. So in the picture, you see where it's been welded and the little bit in the middle of the picture is the only bit of welder that actually stuck to the rod. Luckily, the rest had just been sticking to that, to the actuating cam. Um, so it snapped. So I put it back together the way it was there, but it's not the correct way. The correct way is six o'clock, handle up, cam down. That's the correct orientation for that piece. Um, so we'll fix that. So what we'll do is we'll fill the hole with weld, we'll put it back together in the correct orientation, and we'll re-drill the hole and just pop a pin in there and get it fixed. So it will be up and running as it's supposed to be. But it just shows you, don't assume anything. I should have gone and checked that because a day later, when I did check it in the parts manual and explore the diagram book, um, the one that was the one that replaces that type is a simple bent rod, and it is in six o'clock, and that's where that one should have been. But never mind, job's done now. Right, guys, that's it for today. Tires on. Explanation, hopefully, about what paint, and an admission of the cock up on that selector. However. Good job, it's a spare one, and it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, right, guys, that's here. Thanks very much. That's it for today. As always, your time's greatly appreciated when you come seeing what we're up to. But remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. And a little bottle of green washing up liquid. See you next time. Ta-da now.